it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am here with Barb today and we are at the Antique Mall. So this is a mall that I have not been to in a couple months at this point, I think, and it probably was that I was with you yeah, the last I think time. Yeah, it was. So I always have a great time here at this mall because it is pretty large and they have a great assortment of items and the prices aren't terrible usually, but you know how I deal with it. I go to these, uh, not a safe, I go to these auctions and, <laughs> <laughs> what is this called? Antiques mall. Antique mall. I go to these antique malls and I'm mostly looking for things for me, first and foremost. Secondly, I'm looking for things to resell. Thirdly, I'm also looking for knowledge. So I'd like to, you know, see different things that I've never seen before and learn some new things. But let's go. Okay. Oh no, it's raining. It's raining. Oh, she's running. Ah. What a mess. Isn't this kind of cool? That is 1939 awesome. World's Fair, 30. 35. I've never thought about buying anything World's Fair before, but it is very cool. That is awesome, and it has the cap as well. Uh -huh. What yeah. was it for? I Anything? don't know. Perfume? No. <laughs> I don't know. Bubble bath? I don't know. Maybe. Alcohol? Hmm. That's neat. That's a oh, cool flower mm. tin with the copper tone yeah. color on top. Eight dollars. Very cool. Japan. That's Phoenix pretty. Picture. That reminds me of Sasha Brass. Oh, yeah. What's the name? Um, Brass off. Brass off. This is a pretty glass blown paperweight for thirty dollars. Uh, I have to fix myself. I keep thinking that everything's half off. Oh yeah. We just got out of an estate know, sale. I'm like, oh, it's only twenty. Oh, a little putts houses. These are fun. $10 each. I almost did it again. I was like, oh, they're only $5 each. Uh -huh. No, I know they're 10, which is too much. Ooh, here's some old flatware over here. I'm actually looking for... Oh, that's pretty green. It is, but it's silver. And I don't want to have to deal with tarnishing silver. Uh -huh. Polishing it. Uh, ooh, fountain pens. That's a purple one that's nice. Mm -hmm. Kind of. $15 oh, for it. Glass. Is that a syrup pitcher? Yeah. Uh huh. Like 55 That's then. awesome. Well, look at the black and orange. Very nice. I believe that is Czech glass. Uh huh. Czech I think so. Czechoslovakia. That's at least what I keep seeing when I do my research. I have a bowl very similar to that at home with the reverse painted orange. And then I've got these uh, rever uh, reverse paint, reverse painted, uh, no, sprayed on boudoir lamps. Is this all the same thing? It says 20% off this booth on this thing right here, but is that this or is this whole thing? I have a feeling that this is all a booth because uh -huh. I just think that, so. 20% off 35 for that World Fair thing is still kind of a lot. Such a buzzkill. They always don't let you sit in the chairs. I think, I wish that they would just let you sit in all the chairs. Cause I yeah. get, I get kind of tuckered out at these malls eventually. Tuckered out. This booth didn't really change much. I know, that's what I was just thinking. It's a noisy old machine up there. This is 20% off in this booth as well. Oh. Oh. We got something here last time. I, did, I got, oh, a cookie jar. Here's another one of these plates. This one's only $8. Yeah, another kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, look. I know, they're popping up everywhere. Oh, look. Now. Okay, they're reproductions because this yeah. is ridiculous at this point. Mm -hmm. We found them in every color imaginable. Barb, would you like to take over the recording? That makes it harder to look at. <laughs> I know. I'll try it. I, I can try Barb it. Barb is going to be the recorder. It's Homer Laughlin, Georgia. Georgian. Oh. The eggshell. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm surprised that's Homer Laughlin. That, with, that with like the that's... green on it, like the leaves. Isn't that Salem or something? The plate that was the... This is Salem, it's called Woodhue. Oh yeah, okay, I just couldn't remember the name of that. This is one of our favorite booths too. Uh huh. Because... Lots to see. Yeah, did you see? I wonder what did you look at the are? ground here, how bad that is? Oh yeah. It's very hard to it's walk It's tricky. Through. Let's go this way. It's a mess. What it is kind think? of a mess. It's $38, $38 though. That's really cool. I like, definitely I like the lines right here. The way that it yeah. flares. 
Do you think it's been painted with gold or is that the original finish? I guess it's the original. It's hard to say because it is flaking off. Right. I mean, this, this gilding does look older, but it could have been like a black color as well. Yeah. Not sure. So this is actually a picture frame that was at the estate sale. And here's another one. $20 they'd like on both of those. These Art Deco reverse painted frames. But we didn't go on day one. Yeah. So I don't know how much they were originally, but they're wanting $20 each. That's Betty Davis. Is that signed? Or is that just like a print? I that, assumed it That's was printed print, on there. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. There was a third picture frame. I don't see it on here. But, and they had a couple of pictures that I was going to look for today. It's yeah, so here. these were at the sale yesterday, and they already made their way in the store. Yeah. Wow, they're quick. Snappy. <laughs> Just wanted to show a few more things in the same booth. They also got these cool croc jugs. These were at the sale. This one here was, for sure. So was this one, I believe. Uh, they've got $45 on that one, and this one... 75. Not sure how much it was originally because of course we weren't there at the sale to see it, but I'm surprised. I'm surprised to see so many things here so quickly after that sale. Very neat. Oh, they still have that restaurant room. Right yeah, the one that's chipped. Unfortunately. Oh, that's why you had to put it back. Yeah. It's actually broke right here on the handle. Oh, yeah. Cool. By the way, you might have noticed that I'm actually doing the recording again. Barb <laughs> I failed. I gave it a two minute try. <laughs> she, can't, she can't do two things at once, I guess, which is surprising considering you have four kids. <laughs> but we have this really awesome candlestick situation right here. A pair of candlesticks with the open bowl. Barb was saying it would look really cool for Halloween. I agree, but like, what am I gonna do with it for the rest of the year? I'm having that problem. Like all my decorations and then like the stuff that's out and then I need to move it and where do I put it? And... Yeah. Um, I liked your idea. I don't know if we caught that on film the other day when we were at the estate sale, but you got the, you got the, uh, what was that thing? Viking glass, was it? I'm blanking out on that. Estate sale? I don't remember. No. <laughs> was it, was an, it was the uh, place that we went to. Oh, that, that they sell things the just Edwardsville like this. Edwardsville Flea Market place. No. No. <laughs> it was just like this place, but in Whipper Will. Whipper oh, oh. Antique Mall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I have trouble with that word. It's an antique mall, and it, you bought that orange that looks like candy corn. Oh, right. I don't think we got that on film. Oh, we didn't? I don't think so, but oh. it was so cool, and it's so pretty. Looking. I wish you would have bought the one that, the other one that the she showed one. us. But it wasn't. But I'm it was looking still at this. the same so thing. Pretty. That blue and gold. We're all over the place. I know. So I wanted to get... Now, you, anyways, now you have me wanting to get one of those things that you got. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. Cool, twelve dollars. Oh, Viking. Okay, it was that Viking? Was... It's um the other one. What other? I've one? already forgot what it's called. Ellie Smith. Yeah, yeah, Ellie Smith Bittersweet. It's called. Beautiful for spacious skies. So it's really pretty and it's so Halloweeny looking. Mm. Hey, here's one of the cake stands, but this is the clear glass. Unfortunate. Oh wait. It's blue. No, that's light blue. I think the light blue one is a little bit valuable. Maybe. Maybe. But it's 17. Wait, is that Jeanette? Yeah. Um it's when I got the Yeah, last time we were here is when I got the light pink milk glass, the shell pink Jeanette of this. Oh here. Remember? Yeah. yeah, and you got it for twelve or fifteen. Something like that. Yeah. Not a bad price. I don't know what the color of this is called, but it's a pretty color. I'm gonna call it ice blue. That's what came into my head. This booth is always so strange. They've got like a mixture of books and china. I just think, I don't know, for some reason my brain cannot compute those two together and, but we're gonna give it a look-see, see what we can find here. We've got a little great picture. Here's a, oh, it's pretty chipped up. They still want $45 for this. Cookies or whatnots. Okay. Whatnots. Here's a, what is this, made in Taiwan. Books, so confused. So confused, oh here's like a, what is this supposed to be? She's like a 
damsel in distress. Victory Cake Company, New Newark, New Jersey, 1918, established in. That's fun. Ooh, ooh, I know. What? I want to find a taffy box. Oh yeah. But where am I gonna? I'm not gonna find that here. The taffy box mm -hmm. is out of New Jersey, off the probably the Jersey Coast line there. I think so. Where it kind of originated, saltwater taffy did. This clock is so cool. Look at that. It's made by Sessions. It's like really awesome. Twenty-five dollars, made of wood. Very neat. This orange eye wash cup caught my attention. It's so cool and so like Halloween looking, but they want $19.50 for it. It's so awesome. Those are beautiful perfume bottles. Barb and I both like this one right here, just beyond, like to the left of the pink one right there on the second shelf. It has this like um, opalescent sort of, yeah, opalescent frosted kind of a look to it. Hard to see on screen, I bet. What else do we have in here? Anything special? I noticed one lone Bakelite spoon. Oh. Yeah. How much does one spoon go for these days? Four ninety-eight. I would like to find green ones like this. Yeah. Green ones, like a whole set. I feel like that's going to be hard to find, though. I feel like it's going to be hard to find. Left in in the bluebird pattern or style. Oh, and there's. That one there, Miss, is it Miss Pris? Or no, that's is it, the cat, isn't it? Oh yeah, the cat's Miss Pris. That's just, what are they calling her? Dainty Miss? Mm -hmm. Dainty? Oh, you're a dainty miss. Oh, I like those shakers. Are They're they so faded that you can't even tell. Are they McCoy? Or, I mean oh, McKee, McKee, not McCoy. Yeah, I think so. They look like McKee. All these cats, you can't really know. Which means it's way too expensive because they're setting forever. Yeah. That's what that means. They've got lots and lots of radios over here. My goodness. There are these old Bakelite radios. This one is cool. Crosley? That's super fun. $40 on it. I love the shape of this one. Very cool. Stromberg Carlson. General Electric. That one's fun too. What does that say? It's RCA Victor. Just like the Victrola. Jewel. That's a fun one. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that one came in different colors because of its name. Like if it was in Catalan plastic. Maybe. This is fun. It has like this burl wood effect on it. Or is this a... That's a vin Is it a veneer? Might be. Oh yeah, it's a veneer. It's peeling off. So this one's wood. That's cool. It's $60. Those Catalan radios, I think they go for like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Really? So imagine that size, but like a swirled reddish color or a greenish color or like a goldish yellow. Yeah. And you're talking thousands. Whereas this brown one, 45 bucks. And it could be yours today. Ha ha ha. I like the way they did this booth, it's really pretty. They've got like this dresser here. The collars are all jive in real well. This is a cool piece of furniture right here they're using for their display. That's real fun. And I just sort of like the whole atmosphere of what's going on. Those are fun, colorful glasses as well. This is a really cool pitcher. So neat. This is neat. Look at that with all the colorful dots. It's a polka dot pitcher for $25. Has like a little ice ledge here. That's what we want. Ice ledges unite. I have Barb carrying the basket, but we haven't been able to find anything yet. Oh, what? Yes, I see. You um, don't have any blue. Is it for both? No. Ooh, is yes it? it is. Oh, please. I was going to say. This is chipped. This so is this. Right there. They're on, both chipped. But it's to, very old. That's right. It's chipped right here on this edge. I'm trying to get people to see it. Can you see it, everyone? Oh, right here? No. No. Move your finger. Right there. Oh. Is it chipped? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one is like up here. Yeah. Twelve dollars is not bad. I know. I'll have to think about it though, because it would only be just over ten dollars or something. Oh, and it's on sale. Mm -hmm. With a star. 
the more you know. More I know. think you should just put it in the basket. <laughs> Just we'll think it. about it in the basket. What else do we have a basket for? That's true. Toto? Now this is gonna roll around. Don't do that. Okay. Well, it's gonna roll otherwise. You stay there. Put her in there to help it out. Nah. Okay. <laughs> She's a creeper. Do your eyes open and close? I know I'm fingering your eyeball. Does it hold spoons? No. Does it hold letters? No. Does it hold toilet paper? <laughs> Maybe you could make it hold that. Does it hold Does napkins? It in the maker on it? Let's see what it says. Does it hold change in a wallet? Is it a planter? Oh, they're calling it a valet. And they say it's yeah. from the Pulp Fiction movie that they had one in there. Really? 1956. I like them. I just don't like Pulp them. Fiction was not in 1956. No, I mean, oh. that's the date on there, though. They just used one as a prop in the movie. I see. These are some really cool looking lamps, especially this one. Look at that. It's an Aladdin. Does this say Aladdin lamp? Wow. Has the, what looks like original cord. Wow, I like this a lot. How much is it? 40. I'm afraid to pick it up. And it has the Bakelite toggle switch. That's nice. You wanted something really exciting. That is nice. That is exciting if I ever saw it. <laughs> and then I did notice this over here. It's one of these glow. Is that the reproduction one? Yeah. Okay, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Why? But it says Aladdin lamp, I don't right? Know much about Aladdin Usually those are very desirable around here. Well, the yeah. oil lamps mostly, but I love this. Can you see the texture on this lampshade? I'd like it to. Fo there we go. Isn't that lovely? And then even the color in here, $40. What would I do with a thing like this? I could light up my life, but that's about it. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I don't know. This is the third booth, at least, that I found all these books. These are those uh, antique books. And these are only $3 a piece, but this one actually is on McCoy, so, I think I'm gonna get this one. And then I also noticed a Roseville. Hopefully it's also like three bucks. I wanted to learn more about Roseville. Yes, that's $3. And here's another McCoy. Did you wanna buy your own McCoy? Um, How is this any different? I don't know, let me see. McCoy, Warman's, volume three, Craig Neeson. So it's a different manufacturer if you wanna get this one. No, that's the one I was gonna buy on thrift books. Oh, so well I then we can just, I'll buy it and yeah. then you can look at it. Like uh, buttons, no, don't care about buttons yet. Cookie jars, and this one also is on cookie jars, but I don't know if I want just a book on cookie jars. Um, and I already have this book at home, this 300 years. 300, I have 100 years. I don't think I have the 300 year version. Do I want 300 years of? But this looks the same. No, maybe I do have 300 years. Um, yeah, I must have, because this looks exactly the same. Okay, so, and then I already have that one at home. So, and these are just kind of too small. The cookie jar one, though, I mean, that's kind of cool. You can get some pretty, there's lots of photos. What do you think I should do? There's a lot in here. Yeah, there is a lot. Do they have, oh yeah, and it says, like, who the manufacturer was, brush pottery. Yeah. And it has it goes through, but usually aren't these things always signed anyway? Where we could just look well, them up. No, they're not. I find some that aren't. For three dollars, I'll go ahead and get it, and I'll get McCoy, yeah. and I'll get Roseville. Good. I'm really into this picture frame right here. I love the frame and the picture. I think it's really cool, and it's made by W. Thompson. Very close to my last name. But it's super cool, but it's $75. It's in this booth that's always super expensive. And they have the Fenton in the black cookie. Is that what it's called? Big, Big cookie. cookie. Big cookie. Right here. And they want $135 for that. You can buy it online for about $80 whenever they come up on eBay. Uh, they don't come up very often, but still. But I did buy that tape dispenser in this booth that one time. So there's that. They have really pretty things here. I found the perfect bird. 
This thing is huge. It's seventeen hundred and fifty dollars, but this would go great in the world's largest bird cage that we just visited over in Casey, Illinois. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'll show you the tag so you can see it. There you go. It says in the style of Sergio Bustamante. I believe that's the right pronunciation. Very cool.